Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we're going to have a look at C++ CMake project inside the Visual Studio 2022. You look at how we can create a C++ CMake application using Visual Studio 2022 and the help of co um, GitHub Copilot. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, make sure if you don't have Visual Studio installed, make sure you go to the official website and download it. So let's go, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio open. But to, to get started, let's if you already have the Visual Studio, let's go ahead and open the installer, click on the modify, and make sure, let's make sure we've got all the components installed. So here, once we get into the workloads, yeah, let's have a look. Let's click on the uh, desktop development with C++. So as you can see here now, we've got CMake inside here. So this is to help you build a modern C++ applications for Windows using tools of your choices. Yeah, so once we select this bit, as you can see, I've already got it uh, installed, so there's no need for that. But obviously, if you don't, if you haven't, make sure you do. And make sure you select this bit here, so C++, CMake tools for Windows, yeah? So this will actually install all the components needed for us to create a CMake applications, okay? So once we are done with that bit here, let's go ahead and create a new project. So let's close that installer and open our Visual Studio. Once we open our Visual Studio, let's go ahead and click on the create a new project. So here, as you can see on the language side, I've selected C++. So let's go ahead and select the CMake project. Yeah, so this will actually help you build modern cross-platform C++ applications that don't depend on the .sln or the .solution or the Visual Studio project, okay? So let's select this here and click on the next. So here, obviously, we can give our project a name and select the solution location and whatnot yeah but we're not going to look too much into that but obviously if you want to configure to your own preference you can do you can go ahead and do so okay so here let's go ahead and create a project so we've got our project created for us now so as you can see on the left side here i've actually put the github copilot chart here and i've i've put the solution on the left side as well so let's exploit very quickly so the out will actually uh, contain the, the the project outputs yeah and then the cmake project 2 or whatever this will actually contain our c i mean our our code so as you can see here now we've got a cmake project 2.c++ and then the header okay so let's click on the c++ and see so as you can see here now we've got a very simple code that displays um Hello CMake, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and make some, some changes using our Git GitHub um, Copilot, yeah. So here, okay, what we would do is create a very simple um, calculator, yeah. So to do so, let's go inside inside our um, chat, our Copilot chat, yeah, and start. Okay, so create. Let's type this command: create. Uh, CPP CMake calculator calculator app in this so let's select um, our file yep we're using the, the hashtag to select our file one second it's not showing so basically it's not showing so i'm just going to have a look at why it's not showing so so or we can just type it ourselves so let's go ahead and type it so it's a cmake project 2.cpp yeah so let's look at the command so here um, create cpp cmake calculator app in this inside this file okay 
but that's what we are trying to do okay so let's go ahead and type in enter and let's see if something comes up so as we can see here now we've got um, a response so let's look at the response so here is a simple calculator application implemented in your cmake.cpp file so it supports basic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division okay so let's go ahead and have a look so as you can see here we've got everything created for us so let's select the, the um, cmake project.cpp and then scroll down so let's click on the review or preview sorry so once we accept it here, so we've got the, we've got this code added to our our um, um, our file cmakeproject.cpp. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So here we've got a bunch of declarations here. So the first bit is a display menu, and then obviously we've got the addition, the subtraction, multiplication, and the division. So here we've got our main method, which actually welcomes to the calculator uh, or calculation app. So basically, uh, we've got this menu which prompts us to add some, some certain things. Okay. So as we can see here now, it's, it's very straightforward. So as you can see, we're using a switch. We're using a switch case situation here. Okay. So basically, so if case one is an addition, or basically we add our two num I mean, we, our two numbers inside this parameter, and obviously. Uh, the operation is actually done so let's scroll down so as you can see here now yeah we've got the methods for addition obviously that's a plus b and whatnot yeah so as we can see here now it's not very difficult so basically we can actually run it by clicking on this bit here or, or clicking on the f5 so let's have a look at what actually comes out so as we can see here now, obviously we've got the main, we've got the application running. It's asking us to choose, make a choice. So one for addition, two for subtraction, three for multiplication, and whatnot. So let's select three. So it's asking us to enter our first number and then the second number. So as we can see here now, we've got our result to be 20. And obviously we can also go ahead and continue to do it over and over again. So, so as we can see here now, it's not very difficult to get yourself started. And with the help of this GitHub Copilot, yeah, what you can do is just be the referee of, you know, what I mean, like the moderator. And obviously, this AI can do a lot for you, you know. But obviously, you got to always check your code because obviously sometimes you get something wrong. Yeah. So I'll leave this video here for now, and obviously you can go ahead and expand your knowledge on the C++ CMake. Obviously, you can also ask the GitHub Copilot to obviously extend this um, calculator application, okay, to add more functionalities and whatnot, yeah? So I'll leave this video here for now since I don't want to complicate you too much, yeah? But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.